Welcome back to Team O'Neill. I'm Wyatt. The Ford Bronco Raptor with 418 horsepower, a 10 speed automatic, Dana 44 and 50 axles, Fox semi active suspension with over a foot of suspension travel front and rear. This thing was built to tackle Baja and King of the Hammers and all kinds of rough terrain at high speed. But the question we have is will it rally? All right, so the Ford Bronco Raptor. Um, you know, on paper, it's easy to look at the, you know, almost 420 horsepower and the suspension and everything and think that it's kind of a race truck. Um, but when you get in this thing and drive it around, it's quiet, the fit and finish on everything is good, the stereo is good, it's a very normal car. It kind of reminds me of like a luxury pre-runner, you know, something that you see people down in Baja running and it's got all the creature comforts that you'd ever want and more, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's, you know, too comfortable and plush in here uh, and quiet. Uh, surprisingly very quiet there's very little road noise even on a gravel road like this uh, and super smooth going down the road so yeah it, it feels very normal and it feels very well planted sure you're high up and you know you got you can't see the fender flares and everything else but it feels very comfortable and very normal kind of driving along down the road the biggest difference really that you find uh, from the normal Bronco when you're driving this around is the power. Um, you know, I'm in two wheel drive in sport mode, uh, which is a pretty happy place to be. And what you're going to find is you can accelerate very quickly for how heavy this vehicle is. Um, and it stops really darn well too, even on a gravel road. All right, so let's get into it here. I'm in sport mode, two wheel drive. I'm looking to have a little fun. I just got on the gas and it was um, not underwhelming, but because of the 10 speed transmission, it shifts a lot. When you let off the gas, it shifts up and up. And then when you get on the gas, it shifts down and down. So I'm gonna go down into manual mode, which is probably where you'd wanna be if you were actually gonna drive this thing quickly. Manual mode, too high. Um, and let's see what happens. Manual mode, sport mode, too high. Let's go second gear, give it some throttle. Yeah, so we've got stability control and we've got some traction control and stuff kicking in. Uh, let's push some buttons. Hold for advanced track off. I'm gonna hold for advanced track off. Advanced track off. That is the best thing that I've seen so far. So normal mode in neutral, it gave me the option to hold traction control off and have advanced track off, and I'm guessing that advanced track off is stability control off. So now, manual mode, first gear, second gear. It won't shift up. There we go, thank you. Okay, second gear. Now we're cooking, now we're happy. So now, we've got a big old beastie thing on our hands like this okay so that's the key for two-wheel drive fun at least normal mode turn it all off so it's actually hooking up pretty well um, it's a little bit uh, high and boaty feeling I mean as it would be you know if th this isn't built for this it's got 13 inches of suspension travel in the front and 14 inches in the rear. So on a high traction surface, which this is relatively high traction at the moment, um, it's a lot of body roll. It's a lot of lean and it's not the most comfortable feeling when you sort of get towards that edge where you can feel the inside tires really aren't touching the ground very much. Let's try it again. Second gear, burst of throttle. Yeah. I'm going to try and go for less drift and actual go for speed around here and yeah I mean we're not going slow 
What do we got? 33 miles an hour in a pretty tight circle. I wonder if that's running off the front tires or the rear tires. Yeah, it's you could you could roll this. You could roll this if you weren't if you weren't careful. If you got it sideways and hit a curb or a berm or a really high traction surface or something like that, um, you could tip this thing over. But that's not a fault of the vehicle. That's just, you know, hey, if you, if you roll cars over, you roll cars over. And that's that. Um, so good fun. Two wheel drive, got everything off. Yay, we're happy. We like that. Um, as far as speed, well, I tell you what, let's do the slalom in two wheel drive once. There's no contest, Bronco versus the Wrangler. You know, Wrangler's a great vehicle, but it is not meant for high speed driving. And the Bronco, intentionally from the get go, uh, and I was in the meetings in Detroit for some of this, uh, you know, NDA stuff I can't talk about, but the Bronco was never meant to be direct off road competition for the Wrangler. That's why it's got independent front suspension, that's why it feels composed and manageable at speed. Um, this wasn't meant to be a rock crawler. Uh, sure, it can do rock crawling. We can go rock crawling with it if you'd like, um, but it's meant for having fun, going quicker, getting out in the desert, getting out on some trails, getting out on some back roads, and driving quickly, safely, having fun doing that. And that is what this excels at. All right, let's do one more two-wheel drive pass coming down the hill. I want to really feel the brakes here. Ah, a bunch of stuff went flying, that's fine. You can link corners. I mean, you can initiate the turn with the brakes, lifting, left foot braking, using that weight transfer to get turned in, and then finish it off with the throttle. You know, you can kind of drive it like a rally car, and I like that. I'm very happy, and I'd love to do the loop and two-wheel drive. Um, as far as sheer time, um, speed, trying to get around the loop as quick as possible. Let's go four high. I hate to do it, but we're going to do it four high. And the magic mode for this is going to be Baja mode. We have the option amongst our goat modes of sport, normal, off-road, Baja, and rock crawl. Baja has a little checkered flag. Uh, off-road use only, see manual. Okay. Okay, nice. Yep, all the stuff is off. Uh, and that puts uh, the exhaust into race mode, the suspension into race mode, the steering into race mode. I'm sure that it changes the throttle feel and everything else is probably the throttle in sport mode or something like that. But essentially four wheel drive, high range, off-road race mode, Baja mode. I'm gonna do it in manual again. Let's see what happens. Yep, uh, the front, the steering is stiffer. Just because we're in four wheel drive. Uh, okay. Wallowy is my first impression. Okay. I will not pass judgment until I do another couple laps. Yeah, first 10 seconds, I'd say I don't like it, but that's probably just the sharp contrast of going from two-wheel drive having a very good time third gear down the hill on the brakes get it turned in back to throttle okay mm. rotating on the brakes the same as we were doing in two-wheel drive feels fine it's precise boy it's less fun um it feels slower probably feels slower because we don't have the big drifty angles and we're not um, smiling and having as much fun. But let's try an actual fast one here. Third gear, eyes up further, pay attention, get on the brakes, get it turned in, look up ahead. I mean, yeah, but, but it feels tippier. It feels tippier uh, because in two wheel drive, you're sliding and the back end's moving, but you're always kind of like at a diagonal angle, uh, which is where it's not gonna really roll. Uh, whereas in four wheel drive, you need to lift turn and brake a little bit and use weight transfer to get rotation and carry speed like you would in a rally car. But um, you feel the weight more and it feels tippier and I'm less comfortable, less comfortable. Let's try it again. Third gear down the hill on the brakes. Great grip. 
I mean, I'm gonna go fourth gear. Is that silly? That's silly. It's, gosh, it's probably, it's probably just as fast, but it feels slower. That's a really tough call for the loop because two wheel drive was a nice time. It's grippy enough. Um, if it were slippery, I would be in four wheel drive. Uh, in the winter, I'd certainly be in four wheel drive. But for today with this grip level, two wheel drive feels faster. Um, it feels easier and quicker to change directions because you can use the throttle as well as the brakes to create more angle for yourself. So you can change directions. You can hold a little drift around a corner. I think I'll be able to carry speed a little bit better um, than four wheel drive. It just feels tippy. The steering's heavier uh, and it's um, uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, so timed lap. Two pieces of information you don't have. One is I got it into sport mode in two wheel drive with traction control and stability control off. Um, this bit of hassle that I've had with the electronics is entirely self-inflicted. I intentionally didn't read the owner's manual. I didn't look anything up. I just tried to see what would work. And you find out that it matters if you're in park or in gear, or what sequence and order you do things. Um, but either way, sport mode, uh, the active suspension feels stiffer. It's nice. The exhaust is in it. I don't care about that. Um, the rear of the steering's a little bit. Feels lighter. Um, okay, that's fine with me. Really, it's just the suspension that feels a little stiffer, and I like that a lot. On a high grip surface, there's no reason to be in Baja mode. Uh, with the soft suspension, it's not as good. Sport mode, better. Um, I did a couple laps real quick just to confirm that it was all working, and yes, uh, we happy. So that's the mode we're going to run in. The second thing, we haven't run a lot of fast stuff here in the summer. Uh, most of the quicker cars we've run have been in the winter. So just looking quickly, you know, what's the time to beat? Um, under two minutes for sure would be good. We're going to get there. Um, the question is the next one, you know, hey, the, the KTM Adventure 990 was 158.6 and the Can-Am is currently the fastest one, 152.9. Um, I'm feeling pretty sporty. It's pretty dry out. So it's definitely doable. 152.9 is the time to beat. 10 speed automatic, I'm gonna leave it in. We'll talk about it, but there's too many speeds uh, to, to shift it manually. So we're just gonna be an automatic drive. Um, nothing else to talk about. We've talked too much already. Three, two, one, go. Squealing the tires on the gravel. I like that. Coming down in, careful over the bridge, and then go for it. Break again for this, and then go for it. Make this time up where we can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold that drift. Go, 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 go. This. Yeah, get some good speed there. I like that. Slow it down. Ah, oh, not good enough. I need a handbrake. I get a break earlier than that. It's heavier than. I'm giving it credit for. The brakes are fine. It's just a question of mass and grip. Worry about the future. Long, medium, right. Into a tight left. Yeah, yeah, get it turned in. You can rotate it so easily and with a lot more precision than you should be able to. But the braking, it's just a heavy vehicle. No fault of it. Into here, link the corners. Ride that out on the gas. Feels good. I think the time's going to be right there. Going into this guy, break early. Yeah, that was quick through that stretch. Long right-hander. This tightens up. Ooh, we're loose. We're loose. We held it. We held it. Little bit of left foot breaking in the corner. Really does wonders to tighten that line up. Over these bumps through here. Yowzer. Push. Got to push. Man, this is fun. Full on. Feels like a race truck. You know, slow it down nice and early for this. Get it turned in. This is not where it's going to shine. Down the grip. As soon as you touch that gas, that back end steps out. Coming down to this tight one. Just get it through here clean. Get it around the turn and go. A little wide. Got the suspension. That's fast. Where's my stopwatch? That was safe. 
safe. Done. Two minutes, oh six. Two minutes, point oh six. I almost don't believe it. All right, so just did the hot lap. Bronco, Raptor, two wheel drive, sport mode, having a great time and it was just over two minutes, uh, which uh, if you had asked me, I would have said was much faster than that. It felt fast, it sounded fast, it was cool, it was fun, I had a great time. Um, but uh, don't feel like necessarily probably we did this thing justice and I feel like the two wheel drive fun mode might have been a little self-indulgent. So what we're gonna do is a second pass uh, four wheel drive Baja mode and see if we can get that time down a little bit um, just to be fair to the vehicle and everybody in the world and honestly I'm curious for myself anyways two wheel drive versus four wheel drive in the same exact vehicle same tire same tire pressure same day same condition same grip same everything um, how much that time difference is gonna be uh, because my guess is it'll feel slower but uh, it will probably be faster um, just for logistics sense that's probably going to be a separate video so if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see the same run at the end with the stopwatch in four high baja mode we'll do that um, and we'll link to that video in the description of this one uh, other than that if you're into this kind of video in general subscribe to the channel we'll be doing a lot more of it um, if you like driving driving skills trail braking pendulum turn skid control two-wheel drive four-wheel drive whatever um, check out team o'neill team o'neill rally school team o'neill.com uh, we do classes all year round gravel in the summer snow in the winter learn how to slide around comfortably and have a good time other than that yeah let's do it again in four-wheel drive be safe out there have a good one and we'll catch you next time.